What's going on, guys? Oh, it's your boy Gunny Sweats. Uh, back with a updated um sensitivity video. I done some changes to my stuff. Uh, I like to keep you guys up in the loop. With what I got going on. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. LSD, you know. We are a controller player. Uh, no cheats, no hacks, nothing like that. Um, I just really understand the game and how to make it work and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get into it. So none of this has changed. Uh, I'm pretty sure I might have changed controller vibration. No, I think that's still at a 45. Uh, so to explain that, the reason why I changed the controller vibration is because what that does is like imagine when you shoot your gun there's a vibration on your controller that shakes like this right that input still matters even if it's off but imagine it in your red dot sight so if I have it extremely high my red dot sight is still jumping up and down so really the lower the value the less your red dot sight actually moves it's like a manipulation in the game itself but if you make it too low uh, it's not that it's like oh gonna be super super straight. It kind of fucks up your aim. Is actually what it does. I've actually had it at literally zero, and then uh, when I snap the targets, I pull down and it literally just starts spraying way over here. So it's like you kind of want to find the balance in that, and my balance happens to be 45. So that's just me generally. Um, what else we got here? Uh, my dead zones are still the same. None of that's changed at all. Uh, 13, 15, yeah, none of that's changed. Um, in aiming, I did change a couple of stuff in my motion sensor. So, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Remember to have that off. Uh, in my advanced settings, I went off gravity, horizontal sensitivities at a 40. I upped my vertical sensitivity all the way to 20. Um, I cut on the horizontal inversion and turned off the vertical inversion to really give it that uh steady still like not moving when i shoot up and down this is basically controlling recoil this is controlling your left and right recoil for people that people that basically cheat this is like a zen in a way so you're upping values right here to control how you're shooting or how it's controlling your recoil up and down so I can spray and you think I'm using a Zen or you might think I'm hacking or soft hacks or whatever but it's not these settings apply in actual game doesn't mean you're gonna have like perfect recoil or like perfect aim because you're still gonna fuck up like you I clearly have recoil hang on I'll show you but you know, when I hold it down, like you have the control recoil, you pull it down on your right stick. I don't have that much. You know what I'm saying? So for people that use a Zen, that was just a lazy way because they didn't take the time to understand it. Like I'm trying to show you. Um, FOV scaling, yeah, take that shit off. It's, I think it's on by default. Take that shit off though. Um, gradual, that's still the same. That works better with motion sensor. Because I believe on my actual, mine's is after zoom. So this is like your regular um, sensitivity transitioning. But with your motion sensor, I want that gradual to kick in for my after zoom. So those two settings are playing against each other. If that even makes sense. They play against each other. So this is kicking in when this is already in so sensitivity multiplier is applied only when fully zoomed in so when i zoom in my aim assist normally kicks in with the motion sensor sensitivity multiplier is progressively applied altering between hip fire and fully zipped in so when i'm sliding like this it, it's picking it up for me but with the motion sensor um, sensitivity. 
giving me that shot. And I can not I can nail it every single time. Um Let's see, I don't think I changed anything else. Most of I put that on. Um Oh yeah, I did. So I put my threshold up to 13 and this up to 95. So this is keeping it steady for an amount of time. Like how long do you want this setting? Me shooting, how long do you want that to stay still? This is what these two things control. This is setting it still. So increasing this value weakens the motion steady effect, but that's if it's on. You have it off. So it doesn't affect it. So up this. Um, this at zero is going to turn it off. You actually want this up. You don't want it too high. Like, I'm still messing with it. I think I had it at, like, five in my last video. I went to 13. But that's just going to reduce, like, this stuff right here. And when you're shooting and it starts to, like, jitter just a little bit, the higher the value, the less jittery that you have. Like, the less uh, swaying back and forth you have is really going to stay steady. It's going to stay steady. This is going to make it stay steady. Um, motion sensor only, so you don't actually want this off, and you don't want this on, you want it on motion sensor only. Press square, turn that off, turn this all the way up, uh, turn this all the way up, and when you turn these two values up, the threshold and the smoothing up all the way, then you slowly, slowly, by intervals, mess with your duration. And you will see why, as as you turn those values up, what it does to your gun. You'll see exactly what I mean. So for me right now, I'm at a 135. Um, that's just time. How 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 long it's holding it? How long do I need it to hold this before it starts going off? Like I can probably up that and show you guys right now. Let's see 135. I'll probably up it to like 160. And let's see if I reload here. Um, what it does? It'll hold it longer. See? And then it started going up. So if you just saw it from 135, back the video back, and you saw me shoot here, and it went straight up. Now I upped it to 160. Now it's holding. It's holding me extremely longer. So I mean, just play with that value. Um. Other than that, I don't believe I changed anything. Uh, 65, 150, yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Uh, I still play automatic, uh, automatic tactical sprint and stuff like that. So, yeah, these are my settings. Um, interface, I went to a 30. Uh, I play on zombies. Um... Subtitle larges, larges default, 78 very long. Color customization. This actually helps with your aim assist, believe it or not. Um, I'm 1091. This helps with snapping onto colors. This game is by pixels. It snaps onto color. So I play out of 1091. Static. Yeah. Uh, so that's my updated one. Um, but yeah. You know, controller player. We exist. We are real. Um, we can we can beam. We can fry. No hacks. You just gotta know the settings and what the settings do. You know. So yeah. Enjoy.